in the center of uh, the rosarium is the modern roses. Um, we are trying to find and to test and display uh, what is best for Western Norway, this uh, moist oceanic climate we have. Um, and in rosarium we have arranged the roses according to horticultural groups in the tea hybrids, the floribunda, the shrub roses and so on. And within the groups we have sorted them in colour along the beds from yellow to orange to bright red to white and then the mauve and pink and blush cultivars at the end. So that when the display is on top you will see a colour symphony sort of in the rosarium. And uh, it's starting now. Actually it has started yet already. And uh, so if you want to see this you should come here and sit where I'm sitting. Have the overview have the scent of the historic roses to accompany you and enjoy the, the roses and the fjord in the background. So welcome. Uh, here we are in, in the middle of the proper rosarium um, where you can see the arrangement of, of the groups. Along the stone wall you have the tea roses and a few climber roses with big flowers. Uh, and also the, the, the um, tea roses with a sturdy stem. They can be used as cut flowers, most of them. And that's the, the aim of the, these roses. Um, and then you have a, a section here with floribundas, the bed roses with many flowers, continuous flowering in, in a color uh, assortment. And in the middle, or in the, the central uh, arc here are beds, you have the, the shrub roses that we hope to be able to have growing tall, up to one and a half, two meters. But that's a difficult thing in our climate. They, most of them are not too hardy and they tend to freeze down in some winters. So, so we still have to cut them. So then they tend to resemble these. But the, the, the um, aim of this is to find some that are so hardy that they can grow tall. And uh, as I said, now is the time to come and see.